Yeah. My name is Edis Tvrtko Pajic. I'm uh, from Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm a sophomore and uh, my majors are psychology and Nordic studies. My name is Dasha and I'm a sophomore at Luther College. Uh, I major in communication studies and minor in anthropology and I'm originally from Minsk, Belarus. My name is Umar. I'm a computer science major. Uh, I'm from Cote d'Ivoire. And uh, yeah, that's it about me. I'm Mohamed Shirbagi from Egypt, major in biology, and I'm a freshman. Challenges. Um, it's pretty boring. There's no one around. And I feel alienated. Well, first of all, it's lonely. Um, the space is uh, very empty and I'm used to Luther campus being very um, alive and, uh, and fast in that speed. So for now, you have a feeling that you live in an empty household, empty building, uh, where not, not many interactions are happening because of the social distancing guidelines. My personal challenge is um, I really struggle to focus on my schoolwork because I don't have a classroom experience that constantly motivates me to work towards it. And um, yeah, I think that the idea of uh, having a life around you is, is motivating you on a different level. I'm very sad to, to have campus being closed with the most beautiful and convenient facilities. I miss the library, I miss Regent Center, and I really wish we, we could have a limited access to that, maybe under some supervisions or guidelines. I, also, I, I think that would make my experience much better comparing to, to nowadays. <laughs> being yelled at that you're too close to your friends uh, like not being allowed to eat together um, and then you see people walking on campus that is supposed to be your home that you're supposed to isolate yourself and you see people with kids and dogs and playing frisbee and you're like what is going on what if i can't like get a lunch with my friends and these people are coming around it's just very frustrating that um we don't have a home at the moment. Uh, it feels like our home is being, uh, you know, visitor ground sort of. People come here to chill and relax, and but that's supposed to be my home. <laughs> that's my garden. It you know, like, like, I don't know. Honestly, like the end of the world because you wake up and see no, no, no one you're on. It's like if completely uh, different feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I must say it's a different experience, definitely. It's like good different, bad different, that would de depend on your perspective, but it's completely a different thing. It's a new thing to try, like brand new it thing. Just, um, just feels like you've been, you're seen as like, oh, you're still here. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing here? You know, like it's, it feels like I'm not wanted to be here at this time. I'm kind of a uh, second burden to everyone who is here. Um, I made a decision to stay in Decora because it was a very safe option for me to do so. It was safe for my family um, and my parents um, because I am constantly, I'm just, right now I'm just watching my country uh, having more and more cases of coronavirus and at the same time I realize how lucky I am where where I'm in Decora, in a beautiful nature and a lonely Luther campus. The everyday dilemma I have is whether I actually should be with my family right now and support them, um, or do I just stay on campus and support myself and care about my own um, security and, I don't know, safety, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess it was a very it was initially different from our lifestyle, but I consider myself being lucky because I'm in Decor and we know that Venetia County has a very low cases of coronavirus. We didn't have a strict stay-at-home order 
So we are privileged to walk outside and enjoy the nature. But those of uncertainty, like, do we have a job? Do we have a meal? Do we have a housing? You know, like all those kind of things that makes it very uncertain to to be around and makes you feel like you're not wanted or not supposed to be here. It does feel like um, our space is not our. It's never been ours. It's our school. And not being at home makes it feel a bit more um, stressful. It's very... Um, a lot of things these days are uncertain. You know, what's going to happen for summer? I can't go home over summer. I can't stay here over summer. And can I stay here over summer? If I stay here, will I have money to live here? Will I have a job? Will I have a next semester? at the normal pace or it's going to be online again if i go home over summer can i come back um what's happening with my family you know all those things are very uh, uncertain and it is scary you are very easily distracted you're prone to skipping you're prone to um avoiding homework and avoiding schoolwork just because it's not here and because of the severity of the situation the the strictness kind of fell down and it's just, it just feels like you can get away with a lot of things that you normally couldn't and it's like the lack of rules is making me very un, uh, un, at an ease I'm very um, jittery. For me, is actually uh, the food. Yeah, we don't see a lot of variety in the food, so. That's uh, actually a challenge, but we understand. I think, I think the food part, yeah, that would be like, um, that would be it. Um, trying to balance between like schoolwork and having to actually, um, you know, because you know, when you're, when you're fasting, you don't have that much energy to, to work, like to do a lot of mental work and stuff, but yeah, well, you have to do it. So trying to find the balance, that's it. I wouldn't say it's like, it's a difficulty, it's just like a little bit of a challenge, definitely. Cat ladies are very nice now, they're friendly, because um, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of us, so they see me every day, multiple times, they know my coffee order, that's pretty good, um, you get close to people you didn't get very close. Choice? Definitely social distancing, it, it's, oh, yeah, it's being respected, of course, it's like two, about 2,000 students here on campus, you know, if they're all here, oh, yeah. yeah, of course, I mean, there were been some cases already, so I think Right now, in this pandemic situation, that's one of the advantages, but at the same time, uh, me personally, I'm like a really, uh, I mean, I, I like quiet places because I'm kind of a quiet person. So I think this like, I don't know, a fit for that. <laughs> yeah. You like, yeah, I, first of all, I think I became a very possessive of campus. Now I treat campus as my, as my house, <laughs> <laughs> only my house, and it will be definitely weird to have other students coming back yeah as I mentioned decor is a nice place to be isolated it's just like a national recreational park you have everything around trees uh, lakes and and forests and so on I think um, I'm being fed three times a day on campus if I usually eat twice a day there but if I want to have the possibility I can just have an access to to food from um from the cat three times a day which which i also think is a good advantage and security yeah say so, yeah the social distancing thing is a valid point absolutely 100 percent. it's just like uh i don't know it's it, it feels uh it feels empty so empty to the limit that you feel like oh my god this is a ghost town this is not what it used to be anymore now that spring has come like and the campus looks absolutely fabulous and beautiful, green, there's no snow anymore. 
and there are no people. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, it's, it's a bit sad, honestly. It's just like, you got to say that. But it's what it is now, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Community is very uh, strong at the time. I feel that um, we are holding together the people who are still on campus, very empty campus, is very strong campus. And although it might seem that we are kind of far from each other, I feel like for the same cause, we are united. In my case, I definitely miss my work, miss my work honestly. Yeah. Where, where do you work? Uh, technology help desk. I had just got that job and I, I never had like one day of work. Then we, we had to move social distancing. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Oh, I'm and sorry. of course, like, you know, the vibe, you know, when there are people around. Yeah, also the, the library, honestly. I'm also like, really missing the, the library. It's like a very good motivation place. I mean, you cannot be there and, and procrastinate or, I don't know, just be distracted. It's, it's very hard. Right now, that's also one of the challenges I'm facing because I'm all, all the time in my room, there's no one around me to look at me, so I can just do whatever I want. So, looking forward to getting back to the library. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely miss my friends, and that's like my, my classmates, having my classmates, um, my um, neighbors, my roommate, I, I miss all of them. I miss the people, I miss like the, the interaction with the people, having that. That was, uh, that was all the experience was about, you know? Uh, it's like having people around you, and, can help from them, helping them uh, be in contact. I definitely, I definitely 100% miss all of my friends out there. Having a, a reason to uh, wake up in the morning to go to class or stuff like that. Being organized actually. Too much time is unorganized. Too much time is um, uh, chaotic and uh, hard to manage your uh, routineless day. It's um, actually the routine becomes the routineless, and uh, you know when you don't have to be there for class necessarily physically, you're not mentally in class either. And um, I guess you know the the with the whole situation going on, um, being in a place that is uh, isolated yet. Um, people around this just feels uh, it feels surreal like this whole thing is not happening like coronavirus is not happening but like the implications of it are there Ooh. Uh, if things return to normal See, I think the question should be like that. <laughs> okay, if things return to normal, uh, and hopefully that will be soon. Uh, um, wow, that's a good question. I'm just going to hang out with my friends more, get um, just get to know them more, you know, um, get the work done, <laughs> you know, <laughs> when things get back to normal. Um, absolutely try to value what like what I had before, like because now the things are just like when such state it's you really don't know what uh, the value of the thing you have until you know you lose them so lately like we are all kept inside we all uh, kept at social distancing we are all um, learning online uh, which is not uh, which was not the case before that so if things get back to normal again uh, as it were before like we're just like I'll try to follow this to value these things more Absolutely, 100%. Um, enjoying classes, because I don't enjoy my classes now. Um, I, I feel like some professors have better approach to it than others. Um, but I just generally looking forward to the feeling that I'm educating myself. Again, not being, uh, not going through the self-thought process of something that's supposed to be you know college level education because it's very stressful and it's very uh, disorganized it's very uh, it's based on your free will it's based on your determination and it's very easy to lose motivation and you know uh, 
a drive for education once you're in this hectic environment? Um, yeah, um, I don't know, I'm just looking forward to also getting back to, to class because like if, if, if feeling I'm missing of being in class compared to just being online all the time and uh, of course like uh, I value the interactions like the relationship with my friends and the people around me so I, I think that's something I'm really, really looking forward to when things get back to normal and yeah tell the people that you love how much you really love them so yoga running meditation classical books <laughs> I, I, I plant a lot in my room i have like 67 plants in my room joking i'm probably have like 10. Well, i think uh, all the muslims around the world right now you know are praying you know during this ramadan to yeah so, so that things get better for us inshallah you know for the whole world yeah because it's all about us so may God, uh, you know, uh, listen to our, our prayers. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully things will get better soon. Hopefully, we sure. can just yeah, can just hope for that. So. All right. Is that is that Enjoy it? the little moments of victories you have, and embrace them. Embrace the challenges you face, and become stronger by getting to know yourself. Be courageous. Explore. Final thought, maybe let's support each other uh, on this different on this difficult journey. Let's um, Let's support each other and uh, Live in a more peaceful community Without fear to be near each other, but also keeping in mind that we can put some someone in danger um, Let's wear masks together. Let's wear <laughs> let's wash our hands together. Thank you